looking at the Brownsville uh, bypass bridge. It was constructed about 1961, to give you an idea where we're at. Um, this will be the start of a kind of a greatest hits video of Brownsville and Allison. One of the first things I'm going to show you is the tunnel that starts the Monongahela Railway, which was constructed in 1904. It's long abandoned. Uh, they filled it in, but it's a beautiful stone and brick construction. It's very short. I could climb through it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to today. I'll show you the other side in a moment. To the other side of the tunnel, you can see that it's been pretty much filled in. Um, not only here, but through here. Um, there's no indication that a railroad came through here. Uh, coming from Brownsville, it's still intact and probably one of the best looking of the sets. It's down by the water treatment plant. Just an unbelievable, beautiful construction. It's, you come across another set of arches from the Monongahela Railway Bridge. It's like a triple here, or uh, actually four arches. It's amazing, it survives. Four arches. Just incredible construction characteristics. On top of the bridge, you're able to make out some Coke ovens that we're going to try and check out a little bit more closely. As you can see, these are pretty old. Faces are gone. But you have a huge oven inside of there and here. We're trying to figure out if these were the century ovens. Judging from where they're located, you would think that they are. Inside the oven, and looking out to the Monongahela Railway Bridge. Oh, is that? Give you an idea of what it looks like. Here's the deeper set of arches that are back in the woods. Give you a better look at them from the other side. along the Monongahela Railway. This is a closed bridge at Simpson Road. We're gonna head over to a set of Coke ovens. We walked the distance up to what was known as the Catherine ovens. This is actually a through oven design versus a beehive, similar to Allison. We come up here and show you that it goes right through. You can see that. It fed through the top and then they would draw it out from both sides. These have been out of service a long time. You can see the moss over the bricks. The hill a railway right away. We've come across what appears to be the Dunlap ovens that went up to the Simpson Tunnel. Hopefully we'll see some better shots than these. Here are the Dunlap ovens that are right on the Monongahela Railway right away. We're very close to where the tunnel used to be. It's going to be interesting to see if there's going to be any remnant of it when we get there. This is a better shot of there was a two bank set up and then there was one against the uh, hill.
the Coke ovens uh, came right up to where the Simpson Tunnel used to be. And over here, that green grassy area is the plugged entrance to the Simpson Tunnel, which was filled in for Toll 43 uh, in the last couple of years. I'm in between the ovens up on the hill and the ones behind me. They would easily draw the coke right into the cars. This is Dunlap. We're off Davison siding near Allison. This looks like just a normal walk path, but we'll show you what it is in a moment. Down, you can see that it's the West Penn Railway's concrete streetcar bridge. There are two of these. There's one at the other end going toward Republic, and this one was built in 1908, still standing. This is one of the best preserved of the whole setup. You can see here where the rail car would come through and then they would draw the coke from this through oven design onto the cars. They're in this well preserved condition so you can see what typically these would look like in the front. I said these are through oven designs and they would cook the coke and push it right through to the rail cars. You can see it goes right through there. One of the cleanest ones we've seen in terms of dirt and debris building up on it. That's actually the floor of this oven so you get an idea. Yeah. These ovens are, I'm actually standing up in the middle. of um, Allison, where the other concrete streetcar bridge is. We're going to walk up to it, walking across it. Bridge from the side. There's a uh, famous still picture from 1908 showing this exact shot after it opened. So that's it for Brownsville and Allison Greatest Hits today. Enjoy.